Okay, on to my first story, which is really short and shit, like me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I literally don't know. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's Robin Gaming here with the third episode of George vs. Robin. We had a really good episode last time uh, with a really cool topic, uh, the worst day of our lives. We got a great topic again for this episode. Uh, quickly looking back at the previous episode, I had a, a picture actually submitted to me by Jackie Stunt on YouTube. Uh, yeah, thanks for that. Um, he, he actually showed me a picture of kind of like what the situation for my arm looked like, if you still remember that from the previous episode where I told about me breaking my arm, it being out of position. Uh, yeah, he sent me this picture and that's pretty much what it looked like, so I just thought it would be cool to show this to you. Uh, and if you want to know the origin to that story, then of course check out episode 2 if you hadn't already. Uh, it's up on George's channel, just like episode 4 and 6 and all the episodes beyond um, Yeah, will be. So um, be sure to actually subscribe to George and uh, check out his channel for those episodes. But anyway, for this episode, we quickly want to look back at the survey. So um, yeah, George, just quickly tell us a bit about the results of the survey. Okay, so you may remember that last week Robin was saying he swore he would have his revenge on me for, for me winning last week. And lo and behold, he has done that in style. Um, he's managed to pick up 64 votes whilst I only got 9. So that is, is an absolute destruction. Um, and I suppose I congratulate him on this victory. But hopefully I will retain my title this week with my stories. But yeah, Robin has quite convincingly won last week's episode. So... Well done on that. Thank you. That um, means it's uh, it's one on one right now. So it does yeah, it does indeed. But before we go on to the new topic for this week, I'm just going to read out uh, a few of the experiences which you guys submitted last week for the worst day of your lives. And as as like last time, we picked out three. Um, so here they are. The first one is from uh, PSN Joy Ride with hyphens in the middle. Um, I was at camp for my school and I became sick to my stomach. I went to the teacher and he told me to drink more water, even though I had already drunk a ton. For the rest of the afternoon, I sat inside awkwardly with the other teachers drinking water and still felt like shit. It was the last day and I went home on the school bus. I had drank so much beforehand I needed to take a piss extremely bad. I held it for 45 painful minutes before I couldn't take it anymore and peed in my water bottle in the back of the bus. For the rest of the school year, everyone called me Bottles. <laughs> So that is a pretty unfortunate story for Joyride. And on to the next one um, from PSN Sandwich 2000, and their YouTube is It's Pony Time 123. Uh, this is quite a short one. They said, On my seventh birthday, I was so sick, like die sick, but I couldn't stop throwing up. And when I had my cake, I dropped it on the table, and the table caught fire. But then I threw up on the table and put the fire out. <laughs> I don't even. That's, that's not even possible. But yeah, it does sound really weird. But that it was still just a funny story. So yeah, that that was cool. Anyway, next one um, <laughs> is from Rare Boy UK ninety six. Uh, he says, "I was six. I had just finished these times table things for maths in class. We had just had lunch, and I hadn't been feeling too good. I finished the questions, felt a massive rumble, and let out a huge fart. I then proceeded to follow through and shit myself." <laughs> I don't think anything is more embarrassing than that. So that is three pretty, pretty good stories from last week. So thanks a lot for submitting those. Okay, but now on to this week's topic. It was actually submitted by someone who didn't leave their PSN or their YouTube or anything like that. But it was um, creepiest people that we've ever met on PSN. But we realized that there wasn't really much to go with on that, that front. So we've kind of modified the question a bit. So now it's strangest things which have ever happened to us on PSN. And um, as suggested by Davey the Parkour on last episode, we're actually this week, we're going to alternate who tells our stories rather than like me telling three, then Robin telling three. Mm. So I believe this week Robin has four stories. So mathematically speaking, he should begin so we can alternate throughout. So Robin, go ahead. Right. Okay. The first person that I met online, um, I was playing Uncharted 3 with my friend Sandler, like I pretty much always do. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I met this guy and his PSM was the Ajax Gangster. And now Ajax is, of course, a Dutch football club. Um, and 
I'm not really a fan of that football club. I know a lot of people that I know are, uh, but I personally am not. I don't, you know, like that football club at all. Um, and also the fact that his PSN name contained the word gangster, it just it, it made it made us laugh a lot because if there's one, you know, if there's one type of persons me and Sandra don't like, it's it's people acting tough on the internet and you know putting gangster in your PSN. <laughs> we were kind of laughing about that. Uh, then also we had this big fight on PSN, you know, sending messages to each other all the time. Uh, like he was he kept swearing at us and stuff. And this was all the way back before I even did YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, like I think it was. January or something like that, um, and we just had a had a massive fight on PSN uh, through messages and stuff like that. Uh, then there came the point where I was uh, finally put on Uncharted TV, my first episode of the Top Ten Place, and he was actually killed in one of the clips, and uh, that was <laughs> <laughs> it was very funny um, to tell him that he was killed, and then he sent me messages saying, "Well, nobody watches Uncharted TV, so shut up." <laughs> I, I was like, "Yeah, I just I told him that I had gotten subscribers." Uh, like a lot of subscribers that first day and that people were clearly watching it and that he would only get remembered by us all the time when a new episode came up so that was just it was really funny and uh, that fight has been going on for months um nowadays i don't think we've ever sent messages to each other again though we did meet him like once or twice uh, again in uncharted 3 which was kind of funny but that's my first story okay my first story is actually quite short but um for those of you who, who know my, my second PSN, you see Legacy Vid, which it was a PSN which I made specifically to get away from people spamming me so that I could maybe just like now and then play the odd game without getting constant invites and things like that. So I made it just so I could have a bit of relaxation and play Uncharted without like those pressures and whatnot. Um, and I got this message from this person who was like continually trying to friend request me. And of course, I turned it down. I didn't say anything. And then he sent me a message saying, look, I know you don't add people on this account, but I really want to add you. Can you please add me? So again, I turned him down. And at this point, I started getting these like really strong. This is kind of like the first topic from week one, actually. I started getting these like really strong hate messages from this guy who at first had seemed like he was like someone who just really liked my videos and whatever. He was like saying, please, I've watched your videos for however long. I just want to add you. Um, but then he like turned to this like weird person who was just spamming me with all these swear words for, for, for days and weeks and stuff. So, yeah, there is my first story. Robin, back to you. Okay, so my second story is a pretty short one, actually. Uh, again, I was I was in a lobby in Uncharted 3. A lot of people I met in Uncharted 3, always fun situations there. But uh, for, for some reason, I was just having a normal conversation again with my friend Sandra. And there was this weird guy, and this is going to sound really stupid, but... Uh, he kept making noises, and all he did was literally, and I'm, I'm just going to do it, but I'm going to be embarrassed. All he did was, rah, 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 That's all he did. That <laughs> He made that noise all the time, and we were laughing our asses off, and then we kept asking him questions, saying like, hey, uh, um, I heard that uh, that uh, you like Uncharted. Is that true? And then he was like, rah, 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 rah. And we, we had matches for, we had probably about five matches that way. And then we ended up adding him. And we actually played a few more matches afterwards on, on different days where we just kept doing the same thing for the time to come. So, um, yeah, just a, a really, really strange, uh, strange story that happened to me. So, um, yeah, George, what's your second story? Okay, my second story comes from when me and a friend were on Uncharted 3 when we were kind of looking to troll people. We were kind of looking for, like, some kind of susceptible, young, high-pitched voice weird kid and by some miracle we found like the perfect candidate um we were i can't remember what we were doing but um we heard him on a microphone and he was like you know he sounded like he was about six um and he was american and we decided to try and convince him that we were the yogs cast and i'm sure most of you have probably heard of them and because I, I it seems that a lot of young kids who have never heard british accents just assume that that anyone who's British is the Yogs cast. So it wasn't difficult to fool the guy. And then we literally, for like five matches, were playing in the same lobby of this guy, and he was asking us all these questions, kind of like um, like the weird kid in the prank call, which me and Robin did. Just like, he just fell for it completely. What time and... is it? <laughs> 7.30 here. <laughs> Sorry. But anyway, we kept it going for about five matches, and then we had to go. So we decided to we would tell him what like what we've been doing, and he actually started to cry. We could <laughs> hear him physically crying over the headsets, <laughs> and it was it it kind of it felt bad in a way, but not really because it was just so funny. And he was like crying, and we were just laughing, and he was <laughs> crying, and we were just laughing at him. Um, 
Uh, that's my second story. <laughs> okay, so my third story is about uh, a guy, a really good friend of mine, actually, and he's called Bernie Kearney or Bernie Von Kearney, whatever. And um, I actually don't really know how I met him, but I do remember that he was actually in episode five of the Top Ten Place, if I remember correctly, could also be four, whatever. But he was he was killed in a, in a special moment. And uh, he, he left a comment saying, oh my God, I got killed with my friends. <laughs> and then, you know, I think I already remembered his name. I had already met him in a lobby uh, before that. Uh, but that's where I started, where I actually added him. And Bernie Kearney is this 13 year old Austrian kid yeah. who just loves to rage online and just tell, <laughs> you know, seriously swear at everyone. And it's just a lot of fun to be in a lobby with him. He, he's swearing at people all the time and making fun of them while they at the same time laugh at him and stuff like that. Um, yeah. You know, I don't normally join him with doing that, but I do laugh all the time when he's in my lobby. Uh, and, you know, when I, I also know that, you know, on some of my videos he comments and he, he swears at me or something like that. And <laughs> people are already like, oh, my God, he's a hater or something like that. Trust me, he's not. He's just a really good friend of mine. And yeah. uh, just a really, really, you know, funny person. And, uh, yeah, whatever. We love to just kick him randomly in lobbies <laughs> because we know that he's going to rage. Uh, and that's that's pretty much what we do. Um, so yeah, that's my third story. Okay, my third and final story comes from a little while ago when I was just playing another random match in Uncharted 3. I can't remember what. And um, I believe it was Museum and I was sniping. So there was literally, there was no way that I could really pull any scrubby tactics or anything. There was no newbie things you could do. I mean, if I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you're using the Dragon Sniper and a T-Bolt kickback, what... Uh, there's there's nothing that I can see there which is like frowned upon in terms of like the Uncharted community So I was just playing normally and I ended up doing quite well um, And then after I finished the match this guy messaged me saying um, you you effing hacker and stuff like that And I was I just messaged him sort of saying if you could please explain to me what I have done that was in any way newbie in that match, I will happily apologize. And he said, I won't do that, but I challenge you to a 1v1. And at this point, I, I just thought, okay, fine, because I'd never really done a 1v1 like, like this before. But I just went in and did it, and at this point, this guy turned his microphone on, and I don't mean to be racist here, but he sounded like a black guy. Just You could just tell, and he was like um, American. Um, and I was beating him in that as well, and he was just swearing at me down the microphone and telling me that I was a hacker there. Um, just, you know, more of the same. And then I, I beat him. So, <laughs> Okay, so the, the last and maybe one of the funniest stories is probably, it's it's really random. But I met a guy again in Uncharted 3. All, all these people I've met in Uncharted 3. Um, but his PSM was something like, all I do is pump or I only pump or something like that. And um, yeah, again, I was playing with Sonda and I thought, wow, that's a pretty funny name, but he's not going to do that. But we started the match and he literally, he went to the center of the map and he just started pumping the whole match. Oh, isn't, it, isn't it that pumping guy or something? What? Have you met him too? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's probably, yeah, that's probably the PSN. I, I didn't really exactly remember it anymore. But yeah, all he did was pumping and he just kept doing that for, for a lot of matches. Like, And when we checked his profile and he actually played a lot of matches uh, and you know, he had zero kills, so he had been doing that. For so, so, I mean, come on, what 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 do you do with your time when you do that? It, I truly don't know what makes him do that. Probably he must get a lot of funny reactions uh, on, on PSN, which he likes, so he keeps doing that. But I absolutely have no clue why he would do that. Um, but definitely very funny, and we, we laughed our asses off with this guy. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my fourth story. And those were all seven stories from us in total. Uh, we hope you like them, of course. Please, there's a, there's a survey linked on top of the description. Uh, if you could fill that out, that would be great. Uh, tell us, uh, you know, whose stories you enjoy the most, and then we will discuss that uh, the, the next episode, of course, on George's channel exclusively. Uh, also, you know, let us know if you had any uh, funny situation happening with, with strange PSN people or something like that. Please let us know that in the survey. There will be questions there for you to answer. Uh, so, yeah, if you do that, then, um, yeah, we thank you a lot for watching, and we hope to see you again in episode four uh, exclusively on George's channel. As I said, uh, we are alternating these episodes to be on George's channel and my channel, so just so you know that, um, yeah, please check out the next episode on George's channel, and you can also check out episode two on his channel if you haven't seen that already. Um, so yeah, then that's pretty much it. We thank you a lot for watching, and we hope to see you again next time. Uh, just like, just like, blah, just like episode four will. Um, yeah, so please. Oh god, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm just gonna continue this. Okay, so last week you may remember Robin saying that at some point he was sure he'd have his revenge, and lo and behold, he has destroyed me um, <laughs> by some, like some kind of strange fuck so that was humiliating and now robin is 
Fuck. Um, I've just got um, a few stories from last week. Uh, fuck. And Robin, at this point, I've forgotten where we go. Obviously, we'll cut this bit out. Okay, but now on... Okay. Okay, but now on... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but now on to this week's topic, which was submitted by someone who didn't leave their PSN, um, which, fuck. So we've kind of, we've changed it to, like, fuck, what did we change it Strangest to? Strangest situations or people. Okay, uh, fuck, I forgot we were alternating. Most people know that um, on my UC Legacy Vid PSN account, which I used for fuck, I can't even remember what I fucking used it for. <laughs> okay, my first story is, um, fuck. <laughs> um, so that, that is my, that, fuck. We actually played a few more matches afterwards on, on different days where we just kept doing the same thing for, you know, for... Oh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, my second one was me and a friend, we were on PSN, um, and fuck. Okay, my third and final story came um, not so long ago, actually. Or was it? 